G'day, it's Gus here at MG, and we're here answering your questions here on Rugby League Week. Let's start the ball rolling with Darren Bugs Whiteley, MG. Good night. He said, do you think the obstruction rule has gone too far? <laughs> oh, I think so. What would you do to fix the problem? It's a hard one because um, in, in the earlier rounds, or maybe in the first and second round in particular, I thought that the referees handled it pretty well. They were using common sense and, and saying, okay, was that defender impeded by the block runner? Um, if they were, they'd say, okay, penalty. But I think that's the way they've got to get back to. They've got to use some common sense. At the moment, you can't make a rule like this black and white. And you can't have a, a variable where a player can, and God forbid, a, cl a player can dive. Mm. Uh, and so look, he well, that's what Ivan Cleary was saying. He well, said, yeah, no, you're not doing your job unless you get, you get yourself touched and you go over. Yeah, in a roundabout sort of way. You, you, can't, you can't disadvantage the defensive line by running an obstruction. Um, that's pretty black and white to me. If I'm, if I'm playing against you, Gus, and, um, and I run and I knock you over, you're on the defensive line without, and you can't have any chance of whatsoever of making a tackle, well, that's an obstruction. Yeah. Or sock tie. Uh, who would you pick right now as the New South Wales Hars for Origin? Right now. Right now, if you had to do it today after round four. I'd have to go with the Roosters halves of, of, of uh, Mitchell Pearce and Maloney. I, look, I love um, Josh Reynolds, from the, and I've said to him for a couple of years, you reckon he's got origin written yeah, all over him, don't you? But if I had to pick it today, he'd be my utility off the bench. I'd Would you? He'd be your Kurt Gidley. He'd be my Kurt Gidley off okay. the bench. But I have to, But at the moment, Mitchell Pearce is playing better because of Maloney. And Maloney, I think, I said here about a month ago, he'll be the buy of the year. True, but what, what about just sticking with the blokes that did a pretty good job last year and nearly got us over the line? Pearce is obviously one of those, but Carney, who, you know, they, they played great together in 2010 when the Roosters made the grand final. Mm, I, I just think Maloney's got orange written all over him. I think he's the type of player who would get down the trenches, he looks tough. He looks Last tough. year he was off for Origin, then he had a couple of bad defensive games. He seems to have fixed that defensive problem up. I think that was too, just after he saw him uh, from the Warriors to the Roosters, so he had other things on his mind. Yeah. He looks really comfortable at the moment, um, and at the moment he's probably been the best player in the competition up, up to the fourth round. Okie dokie, and the last one is Ken Keller. When you were playing footy, MG, how much were you benching in the gym? So you retired oh, in 2001? 2000. 2000, 2000 so year. What were you benching back then? Well, I suppose I, I suppose you'd go back to your peak when you, you know, back in the early nineties when I was 21, 22, when you were at your strongest. Um, I think I'd done 200 kilos on the bench twice. Okay. Um, How was that in, in, when you went on a kangaroo tour or something? Were there what was Cement Gillespie doing? Were you one of the no, strongest? Were you up there? Ciro was always very strong. Ciro was a strong man in the gym because I played a year at Balmain with him in '93. Well, he played and you watched a bit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, sorry. There's some strong. Usually the blokes with shorter arms, they have long arms, so it was harder for me to get as much weight out in a bench press. The blokes with little stocky arms, like Alfred yeah. Langer, who's got arms like a T-Rex, <laughs> he can pump me. He can pump out 180 kilo. You know, I think he's only um, probably 75, 80 kilos. We we'll back next week with all your questions. Make sure you get your questions in a rugby league week at the website, and we'll answer them for you. Thank you.